So this month's live stream was all about the cleric archetype and in the stream we got to see all 18 abilities that the cleric currently has. Now this is probably what we're going to see for Alpha 2 so without rambling on I'm just going to jump right into all the latest information and the abilities we got to see. So Stephen was joined by Bucky and Trider and they're two combat designers and we've seen them in quite a few live streams previously and while we learned about the abilities it was as we ventured through the Highwaymen Hills however it was a bit different than what we normally see as there was a story arc that had been activated in the area that had to do with the Shattercloud tribe of Minotaurs. Now the first ability we saw was Mend. Mend instantly launches a healing projectile towards the targeted ally and it does cost 20 mana for the initial use and each charge of this ability consumed after the first it doesn't have a mana cost. It also restores an amount of mana to the caster based on the number of missing charges. Using multiple charges charges will grant it a bonus healing effect and it has a 3 second cooldown. Now next up we see in Deliverance. This is one of the new held abilities that were introduced. When you use this you hold it in and it charges up healing energy which will heal the targeted ally upon release. It will scale in power the longer it is held and it also scales depending on how much health the target is missing. It costs 40 mana to use and it really did fucking look fairly decent. I'm quite impressed with what we've seen so far. We then moved on to the next ability and that was Soothe and Glow. Soothe and Glow costs 25 mana to use. It has three charges which you can put on multiple targets or you can put them all on one target and this is healing over time ability. Stacking them on one person does not increase the amount of healing it does, it instead increases the duration of the heal. The fourth ability we saw was Flash Cure. This costs 30 mana to use. This is another ability that has multiple charges. This is an instant heal ability that can be used during other abilities such as Deliverance, so kind of synergistically. Steven then moved on to Resplendent Beam, which we had seen an iteration of in the past, however, it now has been changed a fair bit. It costs 50 mana to use and has a 20 second cooldown it is another held ability what resplendent beam does is it fires a beam of healing energy towards the target when it's charged it allows the beam to up to five targets that are closest to the original target the amount of time it's held affects how many people it's gonna hit the downside to hitting more people is that the amount of healing is reduced for each subsequent target so really you're spreading out the amount of healing if you want maximum healing kind of slim it down to less people but if you really an emergency and you're like shit I just need to heal everyone because it's going tits up then it can be used quite well I think a lot of these abilities have really been thought about and, and really tested pre-alpha 2 they, they really are deeply thinking about this I, I, honestly I, I think it's fucking decent like I'm not a healer or anything but the, the shit that this class is doing is it's going to make healing interesting and maybe some people who ain't healers might actually want to jump on the bandwagon and get amongst this blessed weapon was the next ability we saw it costs 10 mana to cast and you can use it on yourself or an ally whoever Whoever it is cast on will gain mana back when they hit an enemy with a weapon combo. Now it will also cause additional radiant damage. Now each weapon combo with a blessed weapon will extend the duration of the mana regeneration buff up to a maximum of 15 seconds and it has a 10% chance to give additional radiant damage and apply a stack of burning to the target. Next up was Judgment which we'd also seen a version of in the past and it now takes a lot longer to cast. If you cast it on an enemy it will do a bit big chunk of radiant damage whereas if you cast it on an ally it will do a large amount of heal. If it is cast on an enemy as well as doing radiant damage it will also apply two stacks of burning and it costs 65 mana to cast. Another ability we saw was communal restoration which costs 100 mana to cast. This is your party based heal. It does direct heal and then some restoration over time while a player has the heal over time on them. They also receive an extra 10% maximum health till the heal over time finishes. And then there was another good one which is Consecrating Wave and it's a frontal cone heal which you do not need to have a target for. It has a dual purpose, any ally it touches will get healed and any enemy it touches will get damaged and it costs 75 mana to use. We then switched over and we've seen the ability Divine Flare and it costs 30 mana to cast. This is a delayed AoE heal that you will place on the floor. Once you've placed it, it'll appear within a few seconds and will heal all the targets within 
in it after a few seconds. Total healing is split between the number of people within the circle. So, I mean, as you can see so far, they really have fucking doubled down and worked on this class, and it's quite impressive to see the amount of work and effort that's going in. Now, something like this is probably the standard we're going to get for Alpha 2, and no doubt it's going to be monumentally tweaked during that lengthy process of testing. Barrier was the next one. Barrier is a typical shield spell, but rather than costing mana, you sacrifice 25% of your maximum health. Doing so will place a health shield on the target you have selected for 10 seconds. This ability doesn't stack though. Chains of Restraint is the Cleric's primary AoE damage ability. It does damage over time to enemies within it. When first cast, it'll stagger enemies within it, or if they have already been staggered, it will stun them instead of staggering them. Then it'll leave behind an area of effect that does damage over time for 8 seconds and it only costs 60 mana to cast. Defiant Light was another ability, costs 75 mana to cast and is another heal over time ability that will heal the target 50% of the maximum health over 10 seconds. Now if the target does die while this ability is locked onto them, instead of dying the effect would be consumed which would prevent their death and would instead heal them instantly to 25% of the max health. Healing Touch is an instant cast melee heal which costs 20 mana to cast. Now, the target must be in melee range of the caster and it'll heal them a large amount of health. It combos really nicely with the next ability they showed, which is Wings of Salvation. Now, Wings of Salvation is an ability that will cause the caster to sprout phoenix-like wings and leap to the ally they've targeted. Now, once they've arrived at the target or the potential friend or person you're healing, it'll grant a small amount of temporary heal and it costs 30 mana to cast, so that's a nice synergistic combination there and I mean there's many combinations you do within the class, it's, it's fucking really nice to see to be fair. Another thing that's changed is clerics now have a class resource which is called Divine Power, which is the third resource bar on the cleric. This will go down based on how much healing and damage the cleric has been doing for the last 10 seconds. Now the way you spend this resource is in an ability called Divine Infusion. So Divine Infusion will instantly complete an ability, meaning you won't have to wait for the cast time. The amount of Divine Power it will use depends on the amount of cast time needed to complete the cast. So for longer cast, it'll take up more divine power. We then looked at the last two abilities, which were the two offensive abilities that we needed enemy targets for. So you had Condemn, which costs 30 mana and stuns the enemy for three seconds. You then had Smite, which costs 25 mana, which deals instant damage to your target and also applies a stack of burning to them. And it has no cast time and deals increased damage if activated from within melee range. This ability will also critically hit the target if they're under the effect of Condemn. What I will say is though, there was no actual resurrection ability shown during the live stream. However, it has been confirmed that they are getting worked on. So I would say down the line, we're probably going to see some shit about it. It's still not intrepid. There was some random drop. We will get more information on that and I imagine it's something we're probably going to see. Now, any additional notes I could add to the cleric because I've tried to get as much information in this video about it as possible, but there was just so much shit going on. It was really nice to see the progression would be while Steven was mostly shown these abilities for stationary perspective most of them will allow the caster to move while casting them however this may decrease your movement speed slow you down slightly and there is some abilities that are going to need the character to remain stationary to cast which is fair because I kind of got to balance it out if you think about it and there will be more offensive abilities added to the cleric in the future however the focus is currently on the trinity system and thus the healing portion of the cleric as Steven said now, I know I've just full on nerdlinged and just spat loads of information at you, but it, you know, it is vital information and it is, you know, normally a live stream covering a bunch of things and I try and get a, a bunch of things in the video, but I mean, there was just so much information here and so much progression and Intrepid really are on the way, but what I will say is a lot of people are saying Alpha 2 is definitely going to be quarter 1, potentially January. Don't get your hopes up for Alpha 2 being quarter 1. Even with this, there's much more progression needed needed in development within the game and in all archetypes and many other aspects we yet to see and some we won't see, like Steven said, till we get into Alpha 2. Not trying to be the, the morbid downer of the Ashes community as per usual, but I'm just saying you got to keep it logical. I do think there's a chance we could see it mid next year, but the thing is Steven really is pushing the boundaries and he wants this to be perfect and unfortunately there's a lot of smooth brain melts out there that will see Alpha 2, not realise it's a testing phase and absolutely fucking decimate it and, and treat it like like it's fully launched and it could negatively impact you know potentially the development maybe not the development but you know people working on it and you know you don't want them getting down with all these idiots saying 
saying how shit it is or these bugs and whatnot or potentially affect you know the view and the marketing of ashes even though the game isn't out you wouldn't you know you think people would have a brave tell and understand it but it's kind of just the way these things go that being said i am super hyped for how much the game's progressed and what we're seeing the the streams are amazing you know in discord we're watching them religiously we're really getting involved in the conversations and it's fun to see and so far the journey of me following ashes and and seeing it develop and you know getting right involved and feeling like you have a say at a part in the community is, is really well done for intrepid so so you've just got to kind of thank them for that and, and the effort to putting in but as always really appreciate you watching the video let me know in the comment section below what do you think about the cleric personally i think it's really engaging for a healer and i'm not one but i think i would check it out and i think it's got some fun balances and some fun team play i actually think steven showcased it really fucking well but let me know in the comment sections what you think what you think about the development of the game hit that like button because it really does help get the videos out there and get more impressions from the, the algorithm gods that you know hate many smaller channels uh, and feel free to give it a share in any community and as always i really do appreciate you watching and i'll catch you in the next video cheers